I've never been able to do the math on months. Normally it's like, oh, my birthday's in July. How long until November? I'm like, I have no idea. How am I going to do the math there? From 11 to 7? Months. You count them on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't forget one. Welcome back to the Smart Nonsense Emergency Podcast, baby. Oh, it again. It's 11.55 again, again. in the morning. We've shot... Our, before we are on, <laughs> noon, we've shot three podcasts. It's before noon. We are on our third podcast, the Smart oh, Nonsense Emergency rip. episode. We haven't napped. You haven't napped. Ah. I'm halfway through this coffee. I, I'm going to throw up. What just happened? Hey. I'm going to vomit. Look how much I'm sweating. It's nerve wracking. Uh, I lot. just had a second hand panic attack on behalf of a friend. I had to lay down. I felt like I was going to throw up. Pop. I couldn't pop. breathe. My bones. You told me. Pop. Check your messages. Pop. Because, okay, here's the issue. I don't know what, when this, wh why did we, why did we check this in the first place? Check what? Uh, the, uh, what the fuck is it called? Midfield dilemma. Why did we check that? Oh, somehow wait, it came up. We're, we're, oh, talking no, about iterating. We sign off. We're talking about iterating to perfection. Oh, our rule book. Zach the, wants the to get it perfect. The last podcast, we were like, oh, I, I'm going to talk to Zach about all this fucking shit that we threw at him on the last episode. Uh, then like 10 minutes later, we get into this and I'm like, yo, Zach, we got to push our call back, which is supposed to be oh, happening. Oh, you had one scheduled? In like three minutes. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Fuck them emergency <laughs> podcast, baby. Emergency. So uh, basically. So I, I yeah, threw yeah. out the proposition. I'm, I'm just, I'm like trying to figure out who's still around, who's just throwing shit into right, the universe. Right, we, we realize, okay, all the greatest creators uh, or, or just mm -hmm. most successful people in general, they get to where they are because they weren't afraid to fail, just iterate a lot, do a lot of shit early on no matter the quality or they were at first and they're successful now because they they understand the process right everyone just sees the quality now and they're like how can i shortcut a tajo my ass right a up there tajo. <laughs> so that that was our qualm with zach it's like he he doesn't want to do the hard work of iterating really fast doing a lot of videos just really fucking crushing it he wants to spend a lot of money up front to just uh somehow circumvent the whole process which is the worst thing in the world. You oh, don't because do what we came to on the whiteboard is we don't want our clients' feedback. We Like a startup, we want market feedback. Mm -hmm. We need feedback on the product. No one cares about this thing we're creating, uh, what do they call it? In stealth mode, mm -hmm. Zach. Mm -hmm. stealth we're not going to create your show in stealth mode. We don't do stealth. We, we create in public. Right. I was thinking, too, about uh, this whole iterating thing uh, and how we perfect through iteration, not revision. And... It's so, I've never, I was trying to think of an example where the revision, like beyond our internal revisions, when has the video actually gotten better? <laughs> Every time it fails. I couldn't think of an example of when a client gave feedback other than like grammar or like using the wrong image. That's objective. When they gave subjective feedback, Thank you. did the video get better? Yeah. Um, no. I can't think of a single time. Certainly not in the long run. Yeah. Like the relationship. Completely. And... and it's so, it's so fucking defeating when, when you're just like, all right, I'll try your revision. I don't believe in it. Let me try it. And then they're like, oh, you, you're right. It's not that good. Or they're like, you still don't get it and shit on you again. And then, oh, and again, and again, and again, and literally do that until you get to seven revisions. And that's what fucking killing our team. So circling back, we're like, who's actually in it? for the intrinsic value of they just love the game. They want to produce, they don't right. care the quality. Why right. this partly came up, one, because we did that, but also we just got these mics, which. Oh my God. That's how this happened, 1087. Really quick, we're, I was just, we were throwing out people we know. You're like, oh, Peter McKinnon. I'm like, no, his early stuff sucked. Like we were throwing right. out Who, some. Whose early stuff was just out of the box amazing. That's how we get to our friend, which we're going to go to in a minute, the midfield dilemma. That's how we got there. I was thinking of who else is in the space podcasting. I'm about to have one of those. Um, <clears throat> this is just a drama pod now. Hold on. I'm about to have one of those, like you looging all over yourself. You ever get mm -hmm. those like tonsil stones? I got one working its way up. I'm going to cough it on you. Well, here, here's the thing. So we were, we were going like, okay. We, oh my God. We're in a, <sighs> It's really funny because we sorry. started. Remember, we started the podcast. I didn't even have. Uh, I used my like uh, ear. I, I used like fucking these. I used yes. this. And it wasn't even close to my mouth, so no one could hear me. Listen back to the first and episode. And what was the first thing you wanted ago. to do? Uh, the first thing was like, let me upgrade my mic. Like, I wanted to just fucking like... All the way. I wanted to commit fully, which is... I, I get where Zach is and where a lot of people, they're like, 
hey, but it was different for me because I knew we were already doing the phone calls. I was going to do it forever, regardless. Mm -hmm. Zach's already like concerned about budget and like how much time it takes. I'm like, we're ripping every day. It's worth the investment for us. But even then, it was uh, worth the investment. Yes. But you're like, I want the uh, this is an investment. I want the utmost best quality. Right. So you buy these microphones. It's just three grand of, of gear. But I remember and we could I could probably find the audio or we'll dig back in the archives. But the question at the time and there was, it was sight unseen. But I was like, Belky, I'm either <laughs> going to spend eighty seven dollars on a mic or no. It was like, fuck, I forget the exact number. Eighty seven dollars or like eight hundred and seventy dollars. It actually. Oh, because you could get this. Or something in between this was sold was, out. No, this was the exact microphone right. I wanted to get. And I'm like, all right, I can just plug it right into my computer. Right. The other alternative is get this $500 microphone, plug it up to another $500 audio interface, and that plugs into my computer. Unfortunately, these were sold out. That's right. People no are absolutely buying mics like crazy to sound better. Like, that's why I had to buy this mic. I told Belky it was very binary <laughs> because there were only two mics available. And or that I wanted. One was like $87. The other one, which is this setup I'm using, was like $1,112. An absurd amount of money. And unfortunately, the $87 one was sold out. And so you I'm didn't like, want to wait. Fuck, I'm just going to, I'm going to ball out. I'm on unemployment. Fuck it. I'll, I'll right. do it. But get this, bought this one, got two other mics. Now we got mics up the wazoo. But finally, it's funny. We finally like get to the pinnacle of the most successful the podcast has been ever. And top of the line quality, as as perfect as you would want it to be. We had three cams, multi-cam. Right. Now it's just that camera. And I'm like, fuck this whole thing. I just want this. So you have now seen the whole process, 106 episodes in. And you're like, I want, it's all about you and me and the content, the right. stories. As long as you have baseline quality, which iPhones get you for video. And yeah, Mr. That's... Beast was vlogging on his iPhone. Oh, I wonder if we could do call in with this. That might We're be doable. We're not going to do call in. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Okay. No, we might. But um, yeah, so the point, the point was like, okay, the underlying content is what matters. And everyone preaches this so much, but it's never really internalized until like now we felt it. Like literally it matters so little. I'm like, Belky, fuck the studio. I like our best videos of the rooftop. I love the bean. I watched the bean a shitload. I'm like, it's just more engaging than this boring background with the sign. It's cool. And it spent like $700 Eight, yeah. on that sign and fucking it's this is like a $2,000 set that we're on. Plus the mic, like it's probably five to $10,000. <laughs> it's it's crazy. And I'm like, all we need Belky probably just go back to those are shitty as fuck. So we probably use our iPhone camera as the camera, camera. Yeah. and this. So it's like $150 each or whatever the setup is. And boom. That's that's all we need. And that's a year into the game, 100 plus episodes. Right. And now looking back, you would tell anyone like it's about your content. It's about iterating. It's about getting stuff out there, getting market feedback. Your gear doesn't matter. And like I didn't believe it for a long time. Casey Neistat says it all the time. He's like, your gear doesn't matter. Tell a good story. I know. So I had Henry listen to the untold episode that we talked about before. I'm like, yo, am I crazy? Or is like, is this content not actually that good it's just not being told in a good way or, or is it like it is good i'm just fucking like jaded or something like that and so you watched it and you're like no the, the content has potential it's just like being told in this boring way and i'm like okay zach you're being boring right now i haven't told this to him yet I'm, i was supposed to tell him five <laughs> minutes ago but uh it's like you need to to just shoot a lot do a lot of these episodes we've shot three episodes today and if you're learning from each one the whole team's learning, not just you. Like you're improving your storytelling, you're improving your your energy. Like how do you become more engaging as just a speaker? And then the whole team is learning. Okay, how do we adapt the style? Get feedback. People hate this. They like. We don't know what people are gonna want in the intro. We have an idea, and that's our best guess. But we've already gotten to that point of the best guess. Now it's just like forgot who the fuck knows what's gonna happen beyond that. So that's where you watched it, and uh, and so you were basically like, okay, who's actually intrinsically committed who's been recording for a while let me circle back to our friend oh. Ice with his soccer podcast okay am i, I supposed to out. keep talking no i okay. blacked out i blacked out that's where the meter just goes so well he had started oh it's still pissing me off so he came on our podcast on like episode 19 and 20 i think uh Ice, Papa Yorio. oh we're just let's start beef on the internet fuck it so he he had come on and then 
he got kind of inspired. He was like, oh, this is really fun. Like, I like how you guys connect. And we we're kind of like the, the tribe. We we're like the best of the best friends in college. Mm -hmm. So uh, and we kind of like switched off in different points, but we we're really tight. And he was like, oh, wow, I like you guys just get to talk to each other. I had this friend Louie on the soccer team. We talk about soccer every day. Same sort of deal. Let's just record those. And he starts his podcast. Gave us no credit. I wanted some credit for inspiring the podcast. Guess where it went. Mm. But no, you're upset because someone actually asked him like why he started it. And right. he came up with some like. No, he BS. gave the reason. He's like, we're already having these conversations. Why don't we just record it? I'm oh, like, you, yeah. you just, I told you that. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't need credit. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't need credit. I wanted credit, but I don't need it. Um, <laughs> So whatever, we're, we're like, okay, he started that, uh, I don't know, maybe like September of last year. Yeah, and we're just trying to figure out like who's still iterating, who's putting shit out there because they love doing it. And so you're like, you're like, I'll look it up. We don't listen to it. And we've told him that. And it's just because we don't follow soccer. And it's it's useless too, for us. You would kind of get, oh, get, get mad. like offended. And it's like, dude, it's like me. Like, what does he not care about? We don't, I don't care know, if he gonna listens listen to, to this or not. Podcast? Yeah, I, I yeah. never expected him to. Right. Like, oh, you want it to be that's actually a, engaging. That's a major thing I learned when I started YouTube. Talk about iterating. I would make all of my videos for and send them to like my parents, their friends, my grandparents, their friends, and, and like other contacts I had in like a long email newsletter. Those people don't give a fuck. You know who's actually engaged with my stuff? People who have found it on the internet right. that want to be there. So it's like... You and are never going to make someone fanatics. want to watch. And then they're fanatics. But it was kind of like what I was telling you yesterday, where you can be, we have this, uh, like our dining room table at home. I'll be eating breakfast sometimes. And I'm like, depending on the angle I'm facing, it can either be like me facing basically like the, the fucking laundry machine. And it's it like looks <laughs> shitty. And it's there's a hole in the wall. The door, yeah. yeah, it's it's all fucked up. But if I move a foot over and just slightly change my angle, now I'm looking out at the bean, the park, <laughs> the uh, lake. lake Michigan. It's fucking the fountain that you shoots up in the Indiana sky. You can see Indiana from it's, there. It's like heaven and hell <laughs> within a foot of each other. And I'm like, that's all it takes with this perspective is like, you can be doing all this effort towards the raw, wrong audience. Mm -hmm. But once you're like, oh wait, they're actually over here and you just slightly redirect, that's where everything, that's right. where the magic happens. So I didn't grow or like have fun making content until I gave up on that idea that I should be making this for my mom and her friends. Right. Which is hard because they're the only people. It's you hard. They were first. the only way I could get 100 views on a video. And now people are asking for behind the scenes of what we're doing, which is funny. It's like, hey, we actually got the vlog and we got the <laughs> podcast and that's how you get the behind the scenes. But we never had people requesting that before because we were nobodies. But now we're like committed. So we want to test Ice's commitment. And we're like, OK, Henry, how long do you think that he's been Not even test? I was just so curious. Yeah, not because everyone's all talk. Yeah, we're like, okay, did he actually? We stick don't like discla like the the qualifiers. We don't care. Uh, yeah, right. We're like, I'm it's not just interesting. It's just a fact. How much? Oh, but that the panic did. attack comes after the fact. Yeah, so we'll, anyway, we'll get to it. We'll get. I'm to like, it. you know, I think. Hold on, we hold on. I, Well, I was gonna say my okay. guest for their podcast, but you want to get oh, to the mic? Well, I wanted to. Uh, the context for your guest is. I told them to just buy this and buy Buzzsprout. Mm. I'm like, do it as cheaply as possible. You, you only need this, plugs right in, it's super easy, and then you just gotta pay for a Buzzsprout and that's your only expense. Your literal only expense is Buzzsprout and maybe Zencaster have used that. So it's like- And it was a good, well-produced podcast. Right. They had- I Remember think, they had an editor? Well, they had, well like, it was Louis's Louis brother, I think, made the intro song. Oh. I don't know if he chopped I think it up. You, like cut things. Whatever. Super low. Like, like the lowest <laughs> friction that we could do. Everything that we learned, we're like, here's the lowest friction version to do it. And so, Henry, you were like. My guess was doing? like, I don't know, rooted in what other peers would do. I was like, well, Louis just started med school. I was like, my guess is they love soccer so much, they're probably still recording. Right. But my secondary guess was, and it was kind of pushing your guess. I was like, Louis probably entered med school and he probably got busy. So it became a, not a priority. Right. But my first guess was they love they love soccer so much they intrinsically they just and they love each other. Push, right. Like that. It's this was the excuse for us to talk together. Right. So I had guessed like June because I'm like I don't know I haven't heard anything about it. So you kind of took the med school angle. Right. 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 Um. So then we go and we check it out. When was the last one? May twenty fourth. And this we're now in mid September. So like they don't record. Right, four months ago, four months ago. Uh, wow, I've never, I've never been able to do the math on months when you can see that was five twenty-four and it's nine twenty-one. 
Yeah, so I'm like, oh, that's an easy nine minus five is four. Wait, June, you July, don't do August. month math like that? Well, normally it's like, oh, my birthday's in July. How long until November? I'm like, I have no idea. How am I going to do the math there? From 11 to 7? You translate to the number and then yeah. I usually just count the months. You count them on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's hard when you go around the calendar from November up to March. I, I do 12 minus however many to. On your fingers? Yeah, like February to December. I'm like nine. Um, <laughs> I hope you don't forget one. <laughs> uh, 10, I guess. I don't really know. Don't don't fuck with the month. So basically, you stopped a while ago. So uh, we we pop into the group chat. Got you em. pop. This is this is quintessential pop. I'm quintessential. I like pop. being the villain in life. I just think yeah, right. Like I didn't care. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I, I say You're like no. I'm I send a screenshot five twenty four, and I said, where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of funny. Where'd quintessential it... pop. Just then, give me the facts. Where'd the pod go? Where'd it go? I get the nuke boost. Rip. Oh, from that's Henry. Me, yep. <laughs> then minutes later, I was like, I'm not gonna sit this one out. Our friend Ice, aka Pop, the other Pop. <sighs> Pop, I can't do this. He was like, we couldn't keep going because Louis med school. Fair, fair. It's not a priority. You're busy. You're both busy. Fair. Right on. Right on. Leave it at that, please. Second Pop. message. Pop. There are two. Pop. So we weren't gonna pay for Buzzsprout. Did we mention this is our banker friend who makes like multiple, multiple six figures? Did we mention that? I don't want the audience to get angry. Don't get angry, please. So We've already gotten angry. Here's the thing. All right. We've gotten a lot of flack over time. I think, I think if I were to go to ICE and be like, hey, ICE. I've spent $30,000 on this podcast. This is only half the text message chain. I know. There's, there's, there's going to be more. Don't worry. I've spent $30,000 on this podcast. Do you think that was a good investment? Ice. What do you think he'd say? Should we call him? No, I don't want to. The poor guy. The poor guy. He's so poor. I, I know the answer. I know his answer. What would he say? No, of course it wasn't worth it. It was a terrible investment. What you're, money you're, has it made? Yeah. You're breaking you, even. Are, are you monetizing Smart Nonsense Podcast? Yeah. Oh, no, Pop, we aren't. That's Dude. what he told you in the first place. He was like, why would you spend all that money on the podcast if you can't monetize? You have no way to monetize it right now. You're like, Pop, I can see it. It's one of those like, hey, I own the house. I own my house. And when I go on vacation, uh, why why am I not airbnb it? Because it's just it's losing money because no one's using it. Why, why don't I make money through that? And it's like, why are you suddenly going to become a fucking real estate agent. Like just forget it, make money elsewhere. You don't have to make money at the same place you lose money. Yeah. So we're losing money in the podcast, but that's fine. We're like learning skills, having fun, becoming better storytellers, just being more engaging. And guess what? Having freedom. Fucking Imagine. everything. It's just like <laughs> connecting, being social. We love it. I would, I literally spend everything. What we have, essentially, we keep buying more shit. But from his perspective, he just can't like bring the two together. Well, well, if you're listening, we can get your feedback on this, but you, you don't listen. To Please this. DM us on uh, Twitter. So just Henry was about to throw his phone out the window. Luckily, it was up. shut and throw up. He ran around the, the studio. And so I respond. Or is there I was, more context? No, from I was going to throw up because I don't have much money. We don't take much salary. I have a lot of costs. Right. He has so much more actual so much liquid more money liquid than us. Cash. I'm like... I just spent forty five hundred dollars for three nights at a fancy hotel in Iceland. I didn't think twice about it. It was amazing. You spent forty five hundred dollars. Hey, that's a lot of money. I've probably spent like three grand. Had away. Uh, most of it was in points. A lot of it was in cash, but it was fake when you charge things to your room and you don't find the bill till after the fact. I was like, fuck. Fuck yeah. Didn't think twice about it. Didn't cause me anxiety. Nothing. I was like, this was an amazing three days that we're gonna remember forever. All right. Let's go back to Bus Sprout. Twelve dollars a month. No, no, that's wrong. Okay, sorry. That's what I thought. Sorry, because I was like, true. <laughs> I say true. That's two souvlakis. Put it in his terms. I put it. You got to speak the man's language. He's Wait, Greek, Cypriot. This is like the scarcity coffee argument. Like, oh, you're not going to become rich if you're drinking three Starbucks coffees a day. Right. You know how many of those you have to save to become a millionaire? 
a fuck ton. 300,000. I don't know how many copies that is. <laughs> like, if you put this in terms of souvlaki or coffee, like, you just buy that every time. It doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't move the needle. Right. It's like, okay, you get a month of content uh, with your best friend archived forever. And, uh, and or you the just 200 wanna... kids on your hockey team are listening and you're staying in contact with them because they're all giving banter about the podcast. And... And, and the fucking, like, he has so much disposable income. <sighs> Like, it's not like he, he's like, oh, am I going to spend this on food to, like, nourish myself or do I spend it on the podcast? That'd be a fair argument. Like, spend it on the food so you don't die. He's not going to die. He's living in Manhattan making a lot of money. Okay. His response. It's 30 bucks a month. <laughs> That's not two Suvalakis. <laughs> he didn't say that. He said, no need to pay that. We downloaded all our episodes, so we're happy. I don't Happiness is good. Happiness is good. He's... He kind of feels like Scott. Oh, it's funny when you read any of these out. Maybe it's the way we we pin them. Everything starts to feel like Scott. No, because well, well, you're throwing shade with the Suvakis, and then he comes back at you with the shade. I know, I know. Hey, I like it that way. And he says, finally, we download all our episodes, so we're happy. I don't waste money like you, Pop. Wasted money. Wasted money. Working with my best friend. And thirty-two, other and people all of your idols. Time. All of we all are. Of we have the number of all of our idols. These are people Actually, that move the economy. Like Naval, these. Naval are, just texted us. He said, "It's so hard. It's so hard." Naval said, "I'd post it. It's really good." <laughs> it is so hard to look at you on unemployment, be spending money, having the foresight that you will work with people wait, you wait, enjoy working wait, with, wait. and like you would spend money to do that. It, I don't know why that short circuits people's brain. Well, I guess because nine times out of 10, it doesn't work. And nine times out of 10, it doesn't work because that person just gave up, i.e. this podcast just doesn't exist anymore. I just, if you, it's so sad. this is what the guys on All In say too. Like, they're like, it would honest, it's shocking if you don't make it in tech. Mm. There's so much opportunity. There's so much money. Everybody wants you to win. The only reason you're not making it in tech and probably a lot of under, other industries is because you stopped trying. It's, it's, uh, you saw it. You're like, I'm going to spend all this money. Fail. We're going to make it. Entrepreneurs don't. Say that one more time. I cut you off. Businesses fail. Entrepreneurs don't. Yeah. Naval. You want to hear the Naval? Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, haven't seen yeah, this, yeah, right? Yeah. So we had we made two clips. Well, I didn't. Fuck, we didn't. Nico <laughs> did. Fucking amazing, amazing clips. We'll put the B-roll right there if you haven't seen them. Uh, Naval said, "Oh, basically, we got we got some flack. Uh, they're like, oh, the audio is not great, but the clips awesome." I'm like, "Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll just um, put it on hold for now, and we'll we'll work on other videos." And Naval was like, "I'd post it. It's really good. I'm happy to re-record this. It's short and easy. In case the messages are a little confusing." Productize yourself is great. I'll re-record everything with technology. Thanks for these. Nice. It's like, that's the perfect, uh, I want to reiterate, I'm not being confusing. I like just putting out content. They're awesome. I'll even help make it better. It's like, dude, just the perfect people you want to work with. And in three minutes, I have a call with Zach. So we'll You got to go. I'm wondering, wrap. Naval might be the dude. Like Naval and Mike Maples might be the dudes. Like, do we just sell out to them? Oh, like, by the way, we just by the way, by the way, <laughs> by the way. Uh, Jack Butcher responded. He's like, "All good with me, mate." Mate, to, to that us Aussie putting out. I think he's Australian. All right, that is the emergency pod story. He's British. Uh, of course. Is he British? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm um, thinking. Yeah. Whatever. Um. Hey, money. There's an abundance of it. Okay. I didn't believe this for a long it's time because my parents didn't. But if you're in it and you're out there, it's like there is money in the world for you. Some of it has your name on it. Go and get it. Well, I wanted to say like. Because he did, he was like a full ride kid. So, it, granted, my mom was food stamps. Like, I, I get like the the come from <laughs> scarcity and I think poor we all have scarce life. minded parents. Yeah, and it just it bled into him. We were lucky enough to escape it through books and just each other. But it, it fucking it's just something that's in the past. Like, there's so much surplus if you're in the right areas of the world. Like right now, there's so much money in VC. They're just like trying to find the solution. Um, but when you like have a job, you know X, you're making X amount. And like, mm -hmm. it depends where your priorities are. That's why I, I didn't really finish principles, but I did like the the point, or maybe it was five habits of highly effective people. 
where it's like figure out your priorities just have your like this is my top priority if your top priority which in ice's case it seems like it normally is is friends if that's mm -hmm. his top priority is or like friends and family like people oh it might be wall street you think that's a, oh he did we've he, asked he didn't him point come blank. here for us we've asked I him point blank we're, we're leaving chicago so i would that's but okay wall street that's fair but that, that doesn't impact like it's still high up like people is high up on his list that should be above like disposable income suvaki suvaki coffee and buzzsprout that's sad okay all right there we are all right emergency Episode pod three. let us, hey, let us know if you like this follow us on twitter henry iterate, bellcaster iterate. dylan jardin and uh, let us know what you think thanks <laughs> <laughs> stupid as <laughs>